Yes, a very good morning class. This is group 11 and my group members are Celestine, Enoch, Joseph, Susan and myself. Uh, today we are going to discuss a concept in geography called volcanicity. A volcanicity is a process through which solid, liquid or gaseous materials are forced out of the earth crust onto the earth's surface. The next item in our discussion is the difference between magma and lava. Magma is the molten rock materials that are in the earth's crust. When the molten rock materials spills out of the earth's surface, they become lava. The next item is the causes of volcanism. And the first one is that uh, underground water coming, in, coming into contact with hot materials ends changing into gaseous form. The next one is that uh, when uh, tectonic plates move away from each other and boundaries give way to the magma. Lastly, magma under high pre pressure and temperature moving through the lines of weakness or faults. A volcano is a concept hill formed when volcanic materials flow out and accumulate around a vent. A volcanic mountain is formed when solid, liquid, or gaseous materials are forced out of the earth's crust and onto the earth's surface. The continuous accumulation of lava leads to the formation of a volcanic mountain. So the last thing we are going to look at is the classification of volcanoes. And we find that volcanoes are classified into three groups. We have active volcanoes, which is known to have erupted in the recent times. Example, we have Old Elengai in, Tan in Tanzania. The second one, we have dormant volcanoes, which are not known to have erupted in the recent past but show signs of volcanic activity, such as presence of, of hot springs, geishas, and fumaroles. Example, we have Mount Kilimanjaro and Mount Longomat. The third one, we have extinct volcano, which has not shown signs of possible future eruption. And we have examples like Mount Kenya and Mount Elgon. That's the end of our presentations. Thank you.